great search to find compelling, interesting, complex characters to play, I came across a real man in history, and that was Howard Hughes, who really was, you know, an iconic figure in America. He was America's first billionaire, a champion aviator, a huge, you know, movie producer, turned Hollywood upside down, and and was uh, the Casanova of his time. Had everything going for him, all the money in the world, all the opportunity, all the dreams that he fulfilled, but simultaneously he had obsessive compulsive disorder which was undiagnosed at the time which inevitably made him go into his own sort of personal hell. When I finally committed to playing this character I realized the writer has his own intent there and he's done his research but I realized I had to do my own which led me to meet with Dr. Jeffrey Schwartz at UCLA. At the time that Hughes was manifesting these symptoms the notion of concerns about contamination, rechecking, redoing, repetitive behaviors could well have been called obsessive compulsive. Come in with the milk. 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 It just so happens that Hughes never really had any competent psychiatric help, to my knowledge, during his life. To watch all that genius and all that passion then go into the most minute details about germs and how his lunch would be delivered and how soup cans should be prepared it was one of the most frightening accounts of a uh, you know, mental condition I've ever come across. OCD stands for Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, which is a disorder of the brain, certainly also of the mind, that is comprised of two main groups of symptoms. Obsessions are bothersome thoughts that intrude into your conscious awareness totally against your will. They're fear-inducing and they make you feel afraid that something might happen. Because of that feeling of fear that happens, people then start to do compulsions. The compulsions are the behaviors that people do again and again and again, so it's a very vicious cycle. The more you do to try to get rid of the feeling, the more the feeling grips you tighter and tighter and tighter. That milk is bad. I shouldn't pick up the bottle of milk with my right hand, and I shouldn't take the top off with my left hand. The real viciousness of OCD is that when you try to get it aligned by doing what the error message is telling you to do, it makes it get even more out of alignment. For Hughes, because he didn't have the training, because he didn't have the knowledge, the entire mechanism got ensnared by the bad circuitry of obsessive compulsive disorder. I really wanted to understand what it was like to have those rituals, to have these things that you need to play out in your own mind until you get that feeling of, of peace, basically. And that's what, what led me to work with a patient and really go through his daily rituals and show me how he actually washed his hands, what he would do, the actual science that went into this mental game that he had to play with himself. Could you uh, reach me a towel? I, uh, I really, uh, can't do that. When I was working with Leo DiCaprio in Montreal, one of the scenes that we worked on was where uh, Howard Hughes, he had to get blueprints from this other gentleman. His name was Odie. And I explained to him that what he could do is say, Odie, give me the blueprints. Odie, give me the blueprints. Odie, I need the blueprints. And he could break it up by saying words in Seriously. between. Show me all the blueprints. Show me all the blue. Show me all the blueprints. <laughs> show me all the blueprints. Show me all the blueprints. Show me all the blueprints. And that's blueprints. what Leo was attempting to do: is he was trying to get the right feeling. It's it's trying to find the right feeling. It's trying to, from what I understand in my research, it's trying to be able to put that sense together in a certain. It has to do with phonetics and the way you say that, to, to have that sentence come out of your mouth the right and perfect way. The key point to remember about obsessive compulsive disorder 
is that the reason why the person is getting these intrusive thoughts and urges is because of a chemical imbalance in their brain. You can see the overactivity. Until people are taught that, they don't know it. All they know is they're getting these very bothersome, nonsensical, stupid, but extremely unpleasant, uncomfortable thoughts and urges. When I was working with Mr. DiCaprio and with Mr. Scorsese, one of the main points that we wanted to drive home was that the vulnerability of Hughes was that he was a man who put a very large amount of stress on his own sensual awareness. In other words, if he felt like he wanted to do something, he basically did it. That is an extremely vulnerable setup for developing very bad obsessive compulsive disorder, which is a course exactly what happened to use. In general, working with Leo and going through the contamination issues with him, he wanted to get in the zone. He wanted to get the feeling. He wanted to really, really know how to express himself with OCD. Once we, I compiled all this information, it was Scorsese's job and my job to weave that stuff in intricately and show the real descent into his own madness. So we, you know, stitched in little scenes here and there. It's, a, it's apparent early on in the film. You get little glimpses of his compulsions here and there. One of the things in particular in Hughes's uh, uh, phobias about germs in particular, his mother really was uh, obsessive about that. There are letters that she wrote to his summer camp leaders, to his private schools. Peppering uh, the